This is a series of films about Japanese foods that I've eaten, and this is a film about strawberries in a sandwich. I just wanted the world to know about the strawberry sandwich. Ichigo. Most sandwiches in Japanese convenience stores, they're all pre-made. They're all reasonably tasty for the price. For the most part, they're usually ham or chicken or egg or maybe vegetables, occasionally even roast beef. Except for the one that has strawberries and whipped cream in it. It's artificial whipped cream. Uh, the strawberries are real, however. I remember teaching a lesson, an English lesson, to a girl who was 17 years old. And she's like, yeah, it's my favorite. And I'm like, strawberries, whipped cream, and white bread? You consider this edible? Ichigo. And she's like, yeah, I love it. So, there you go. Why do my friends love it? The novelty. Is it lunch? Is it dessert? What would Immanuel Kant say? Ichigo. You could start your own discussion group. Why will my friends hate it? Well, it's made with white bread, like the 1950s Wonder Bread brand style. The whipped cream is the artificial kind, from a can. The strawberries, however, are as real as real food gets. Where can I get it? Everywhere. Maybe. It's usually found at convenience stores, but I will warn you, they're not always stocked with the strawberry sandwich. Apparently they sell out quickly. Searching for this sandwich can be like the hunt for Ogopogo or the Loch Ness Monster. If you're new to Japan, you'll probably want to start in Tokyo at Shinjuku Station. There's a Family Mart convenience store just outside the D4 exit. Keep in mind by the time you're watching this, this information might be out of date. Word of the day. The word of the day is Ichigo. It means strawberry. And because Japanese almost never differentiates between singular and plural, it also means strawberries. How easy is that? As always, feel free to watch this film 10 more times and repeat along with me. Or at least that's what I do. Until next time. So that's it. Until next time, we look at the least popular major food group in Japan. So until then, sayonara.